Hey guys, so in this video I just wanna talk about Phenomus armor set uh, and about the experimental build that I'm doing. And don't worry, this time I'm gonna include more gameplay because there is something to show. And um, this is mostly gonna be about the armor set and the possible uses. Uh, but we'll also talk about my build, which is Poison Incinerate Assassin using 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 Eldritch Battery and Mind Over Matter. So let's talk about gloves first. Uh, gloves give aspect of the spider, uh, which you cast to reserve your mana like a herald. Basically, it curses all the enemies in the big circle around you. It increases damage done to them uh, five percent per uh, spider web stack, and you can by default stack three of them spider webs, and it also hinders them, making them slower. Also, it does give haste damage uh, for each spider web on an enemy, and also cast speed attack speed, so it can be used on the attack and uh, spellcasters. Uh, then, I think the lowest next one lowest is uh, boots. So boots give additional spider web, so you can apply four spider webs on an enemy, um, and that means enemies take 20% increased damage, which is better than more damage multiplier because it is final damage uh, multiplier also now you gain up to 20 uh, up to 20 energy shield when you hit an enemy and that means not just with attacks but also with spells so for that reason i am using kind of fast hitting spells i'm gonna talk about that later also it uh, uh, it increases the duration of uh, spider debuffs uh, next, uh, next is the helmet. Helmet gives flat hair damage to spells. Basically, you can generate uh, power charges very easily, especially with fast hitting spells. As soon as enemies get uh, spider webs on them, you have 10% chance to gain power charge, which is, which is very, very strong. Then you get chance to poison enemies per power charge, uh, increase poison damage per power charge, which is up to 20%. Then it basically speeds up the uh, spider webs, up, speeds up the applying of spider webs. So you have the maximum of four spider webs, and it basically takes two seconds to apply four spider webs. So after two seconds, the enemy will start taking 20% uh, more damage, <clears throat> and um, well, become slower. And last, the armor. Uh, armor uh, regenerates energy shield, which means. As you can see, it is regenerating, even if I'm casting and using my ES. And um, enemy, enemies affected by a spider web deal 10% reduced damage. So it's like a minimum and feeble. It also reduces all enemy resistances by 10, including chaos. And it also increases the area of your aspect uh, spider debuff. So it's basically like increasing the blasphemy area if it was a curse. So now let me show you how it looks like. Uh, once you approach the enemy, you see the uh, kind of white spider webs on them. And I absolutely love this uh, effect. It looks like enemies become fluffy and you want to hug them and then kill them. So it makes enemies lower, it makes them do less damage and it makes them take more damage. So this armor set piece is very both offensive and defensive uh, you can craft um, aspect of the spider on other items but it is pretty costly but definitely possible so let me quickly show you more about this and how it looks like in the action of course this is low level zone i just want to show you how it looks uh, when enemies get covered in in spiders because visually there is nothing more to show so I'm just gonna edit the video and show more gameplay while I'm talking about my build. So the interesting interaction that I wanted to experiment with and explore was using this armor set because of a lot of uh, energy shield regen and you gain energy shield on a hit. So I wanted to try Eldritch Battery which makes your energy shield protect your mana which means each time you cast a spell it uses energy shield also combined with mind over matter which means when you take the damage 
instead you take into mana. However, since you have Eldritch Battery and your ES protects your mana instead of life, you take the 30% of the damage as uh, ES. And you do regen ES, you do gain ES on hit, and you basically never run out of ES. I, I never experienced the times when I ran out of ES. So you basically have, <clears throat> if you have fast hitting spell or, or attacks, uh, you just simply mitigate 50% 50, uh, 50 of the damage because of mind over matter. That means you can reserve full all of your mana, however with one exception. Hair's damage does bypass ES and it takes damage from your mana. So Hair's damage is very, very scary on this build. You do get some Hair's resistance on your boots, but that's about all. Actually you don't even need to use full armor set, you can for example just use uh, just use gloves. You get uh, up to 50% monsters take up to 50% more damage, and they are hindered. And you get some hair's damage uh, for the each spider web on the enemy. You get some some life, some attack and cast speed, and also increase damage with hits and ailments against enemies affected by free spider webs. So that's basically against bosses most of the time, because uh, you will not have enough time to apply free spider webs on just crappy enemies. So yeah, you don't need to use full armor set, and you can combine it uh, if you want uh, armor. Uh, with the armor you get uh, more AoE uh, for your debuff, you get uh, reduced damage done by enemies, and also they're gonna take even more damage because you're gonna lower their resistances. You can just use for example helmet for power charge generation and craft the aspect of the spider on some other items that you can fit in. And that makes this build, uh, this armor set pretty flexible. Because most likely you're gonna want either, either helmet for power charge generation, I think, or armor for the damage reduction and uh, lowering enemy resistances. And some ES uh, recharge. So the build that, that I'm doing is kind of experimental because, first of all, this is Poison Incinerate. That's the first meme. Then it's Eldritch Battery, second meme. And now it's Mind Over Matter with the um, Phenomus armor set. So far it has been working pretty well, but I mean the build itself is not, not spectacular. Uh, so the poison damage is kind of bad and I will be experimenting with uh, Otax Griff and um, Lighting skills. Then gonna be using Volcura Gloves of course instead of these uh, gloves uh, but I'm gonna have to get aspect of the spider on some other item and I'm not sure if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna be doing that because it's pretty expensive but yeah in general mind over matter plus eldritch battery some energy shield and uh, some of this armor set well if you're doing eldritch battery with mind over matter you probably gonna want uh, Phenomus boots and uh, and uh, Phenomus armor uh, because of uh, ES recharge and uh, and ES gain on hit and uh, I was using discipline as well but I don't really need it my build uh, has more than enough ES anyway and it, it doesn't really change anything uh, the region and uh, gain on hit uh, is still the same amount no matter how much ES you have you may not even need a lot of ES on the tree so more about this build I'm building assassin because you get increased poison duration per uh, poison you inflicted recently. Um, also some um, some crit chance per poison stack which makes it way easier to trigger elemental overload for this build. And then toxic delivery. It basically makes me recover life each time I kill an enemy. And uh, it stacks with poisons. So the more poison I stack, the more life I recover, and this recover is instant. So it works well for non-CI builds, but building fully live build on with this armor set is basically impossible, and building full CI build with assassin is almost kind of impossible unless you are not using dual wield and have very decent shield, but you're gonna end up with probably less than 6k ES, which is not probably not not that bad because you still get ES region and ES gain on hit and uh, from merciless lab I got opportunistic because it increases damage basically against single target that's all 
But I'm having I'm having difficulty liking this build. And I'm basically for now I'm using Incinerate with Castle Channeling, uh, Fireball, uh, LMP and Wild Toxins. So because I'm using Castle Channeling because I wanted to apply more poisons. And uh, casting Fireballs, especially in the enemy pack, is really nice because it explodes, applies poison and helps with clear speed. I did use just normal Incinerate without Castle Channeling and the clear speed was just horrible. So I'm also using uh, Witchfire Brew for Despair and more damage over time. I'm also using Coralito's signature which is also kind of interesting to use on this. Uh, you do gain increased poison duration. Also you get perfect agony which means your critical strikes, critical strike multiplier is affecting damage over time. However since you got uh, elemental overload my critical strikes do not deal any more damage so but I don't really need that because toxic delivery already gives me 30% more uh, poison damage uh, with critical strikes so as long as I do more crits I will do more poison damage and this flask also is um, your critical strikes chance is lucky which means I roll critical strike chance twice so this build I will probably scrap it tomorrow I don't really enjoy it anymore it's fun to try but the poison damage is just so bad it's just so bad I expected I expected to deal more damage if consuming darks had more conversion if if they had 50% conversion so the dual wielding you would have 100% conversion then it would be a different story I may try using Volcor gloves if I can get aspect of the spider on something else and using maybe a shield with uh, some decent stats maybe that would make uh, the build feel better but yeah the, I mean Volcor Gloves reduces poison duration pretty badly but you do get increased poison duration with a Noxious Strike per poison you applied recently so you can increase the poison duration up to almost up to 4 seconds with Volcor Gloves so it's pretty cool but yeah we'll see Anyway, I have been rambling for long enough. Thank you for watching and see you soon.